Good morning, everybody. It's another exciting episode of Lisa's Commute. And today, I am talking about something that is uh, very, very uh, common and annoying. And uh, I want to get to the bottom of it. I want to find out what is the deal? What is the deal with... I know you're on the edge of your seat. Vaginal entitlement. Vaginal entitlement. This is what we call the um, mentality that says, oh, if I go out with a girl three times, I'm entitled to the vagina. If I spend X amount of dollars on her, I'm entitled to the vagina. I don't get this. I don't understand this. I thought that the idea, call me crazy, is to bond with a person establish rapport, establish trust, bond and connect on an emotional level before oh my God, having sex. Call me crazy, call me old fashioned, call me any name you want, honey, hate on it all you want. But what I find is this. Okay, this is the commodity of the vagina. And why, like the NASDAQ, ticker symbol V-A-G, it is going like this. Not good. So why does this happen? I'll tell you why. Desperate women who spread their legs for Tic Tacs are ruining it for the good girls. So. This whole thing of courtship and wow, I really like this girl. I really want to take time to know her. I really dig her. You know, I want to see how she thinks. I want to see what makes her tick mentally, emotionally. What's her upbringing like? The whole background check that us girls, the good girls, want to do before stripping down. Guys don't want to, they don't want to deal with it. They don't want to participate. They want check please let's go have sex no 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 then when you do give it up if you do give it up they leave anyway because they got what they wanted so it's weird it's like okay great point made on my Facebook by a woman she said well it's a lose-lose because if you don't give it up they're like toodaloo I'll go find somebody who does and if you do give it up they're like toodaloo you gave it up so what's a woman to do? What do you do? Here's what I find. I find so many men and they all say the same thing and they're lying. Sweetie, what are you looking for? You know, what are you looking for in a woman? You're, you know, you're a man already over 35. You know, I'm curious. What, what is it that you're looking for? I want a good girl. I'm just looking for a good girl. Somebody funny. Somebody with brains. Somebody who has their finances held together and a career and other things going on. Well, honey, you hit the jackpot. You're describing me. Oh. Oh, no. Check, please. Let's go have sex. Oh, wait a minute. Not quite ready to have sex because I need some information about you. So, tell me a little bit about your mom. Where does she live? How often do you see her? How was your childhood growing up with her? These are exciting things that we need to discover before we give it up. So ladies, you're killing it for everybody else because you're spreading your leggies for a Tic Tac. You need a little self-worth. You need to dig through the weeds and see what's there before you lift the skirt. This is my advice, because you're making the ticker symbol V-A-G for vagina plummet. Not good. Get it together, girls. Understand your value. Understand your world worth. Excuse me. And uh, raise your standards a little. Best thing you could do to help with this is start working out, okay? When you work out, you spend time on your body, and you feel so great. And you see the results and you're like, wow, my clothes are fitting amazing. I feel good. Do you know how selective you're going to be when it comes to stripping down? 
you're gonna be so much more picky. You're gonna be like, dude, I just sweated my ass off in a spin class for an hour, and this dude wants to see what goes on underneath the clothes? Oh, no, no, no. You gotta earn it, honey. And you earn it by establishing emotional trust through bonding. Yeah, and this, here's a tip, guys. The more time you spend with a woman, and the more common interests that you develop together, the quicker you get to meet the vagina. So this crap about, I'm gonna see a girl and then I'm not gonna call her for a week, you're shooting yourself in the foot. What you should do is say, well, if I wanna get to the vagina, I gotta win the girl that's the keeper of the vagina. So, when I end this date, I'm gonna ask her for another. And then another one after that. And another one after that. And then before you know it, I'm two weeks in. I've seen this girl ten times. We're like total bond. Buddies. Besties. Let's get naked. Do you see what I'm saying? Guys, stop with the elusive, with the evasive, with the, oh, I just want to like see where it goes and weigh my other options. Girls do not want that crap. They want to see you lock it down, get to know them, bond with who they are. And then the great reward will come. Both of you might come. Have a great commute, everybody. I hope you're having a great and prosperous week.